Joey, Joey, Joey. Say it ain't so, Joe. So an article came out in the New York Post today um, about Jill Biden's ex-husband. Is you know he's writing a book. They always write a book, right? And then they come out with some dirt. Well, her ex-husband is calling Joe, accusing him of being a home wrecker. Uh, let's go to the story. All right, let's see here. Jill Biden's ex-husband accuses her of affair with Joe in the 1970s. Jill Biden's ex-husband has accused the potential first lady of having an affair with Joe Biden and says they lied about how they met in the 1970s, according to a bombshell new report. Bill uh, Stevenson on Monday accused the presumptive Democratic nominee of being a homewrecker and says the feel-good story of how Joe and Jill met on a blind date is completely made up, the Daily Mail reported. I don't want to hurt anyone. Nah, that's why he went to the press, right? (laughs) I don't want to hurt anyone, said Stevenson, now 72, who is working on a book that includes the lurid claim. But facts are facts, and what happened, happened. Stevenson and his then-wife grew close to Biden in 1972 while working on his first campaign to represent Delaware in the United States Senate. That same year, tragedy struck when Biden's first wife, uh, Nelia, and infant daughter were killed in a car crash. Stevenson said he first suspected an affair in 1974 when his wife passed on meeting an up-and-coming rock star who was set to play at his Delaware club. I know exactly when it was, he told the Daily Mail. Bruce Springsteen was going to play at the Stone Balloon, and I had to go to northern New Jersey to pay him in advance. advance. I asked Jill to go with me, and she said no. She had things to do. She had to look after Joe's kids, Bu and Hunter. Uh, Bo and Hunter, I believe that's called. It was kind of a a big deal to go meet Springsteen, He continued, I had no idea she and Joe were that kind of friendly. Then one of her best friends told me she thought Joe and Jill were getting a little too close. I was surprised that she came to me. A couple of months later, Stevenson got all the evidence he needed when he was told that his wife had been in a fender bender in her car while Biden was behind the wheel. Hmm. (laughs) I was, I'm sorry, I was at work and a guy came in and asked, do you own a brown Corvette, Stevenson recalled. He said back in May it had crunched his, I'm sorry, I just lost my train here. He said back in May it had crunched his bumper and they told him to get an estimate and he never heard back from them. I said, wait a minute, who is they? And he said, funnily enough, Senator Biden was driving. I consider Joe a friend. I'm not surprised he fell in love with Jill. Everyone who meets Jill falls in love with her immediately. It's hard not to, Stevenson said. The Bidens, who have been married since 1977, have publicly said they met on a blind date in 1975 after Joe became a widower and Jill's first marriage had broken up. The damaging Daily Mail report comes just days before Biden is expected to officially be named the Democratic nominee Thursday. The Biden campaign declined declined to comment. Now, do I think this is going to hurt Biden? Not at all. The guy constantly shows you how much of a racist he is. Constantly. Not even a smack on the hand he gets. Okay, so you think this is going to do anything? I'm reading it because, like, this guy is a phony. He always has been. And the thing that gets me, it's on video. Not, I'm not saying this is all his lies about his graduate degrees and how he's arrested in this. You know, tunnel vision people don't care. Kind of like, you know, Trump supporters are going to support him. But what you people don't know is that it's not true. Oh, if Donald Trump shot somebody on Fifth Avenue, we'd still support him. No, you see how conservatives would dump him. If he did something crazy like that or something so despicable, no, he'd get dumped because we have morals. Okay? Uh, anyway, this doesn't surprise me. Um, 
another lie, another day goes by, right? Um, Joey, Joey, Joey. Anyway, just wanted to um, uh, uh, bring you this story. I have a couple more videos I'm going to be uploading in a little while. But um, anyway, talk to you all later. Have a great afternoon. Peace.